Sadio Mane okay to play with his wrist strapped, strapped up? And when do you expect to have Naby Keita and Jordan Henderson available again? Um, Sadio looked good in training, to be honest, the last two days. Uh, trained completely normal. So if nothing happens, he should. He is in contention. <laughs> I learned that brother a second ago, actually. Um, and yeah, that's that's good. We have to see. Um, Nabi and yeah, Nabi will not be available. Handle not as well. So um, Nabi's in a good way already again. It's um, that he's outside running and all that stuff. So we have to see. We take it now day by day. Don't know. Don't want. We cannot put any pressure in that. So we have to see when he when he's fully fit. Um, should not be that long long anymore. Hopefully and um, yeah, Hendo got a, a, a little hamstring uh, injury in the in the game and um, um, so how how I understood not too serious but serious enough that he's not available tomorrow and not at the weekend and then and then from that day on we will count the other days as well uh, hopefully Arsenal also um, he could be back but for the next two not available you've taken 23 points as we know from nine Premier League games you take three points from two Champions League games so far this season yeah we still hear the discussion it makes it 26 yes exactly <laughs> was, we still hear the discussion that Liverpool haven't reached top four <laughs> so what more do you believe there is to come from your side? No, it's not that. I understand that 100%. Maybe it's because of one or, one or the other um, post-match interview of myself so that, that I said things like that. But to be honest, the first job what we have to do is to win football games. And we played really good stuff so already this season. We all compare it always with the best games from the last year because you know, nobody uh, remembers that the average games. It's not that you compare a, a, a good game with an average game from last year and you say, oh, that was better. You, you, you compare the very best game with the games now. For us, the most important thing is always to win football games. And um, all the games we won so far, we deserve to win. That's how it is. And um, in, the, in the two draws we had in the, in, the, in the Premier League, we deserved a point. So, and the game we lost against Napoli, we deserved to lose. So that's how it is. And that's what we have to make sure for, for, for the future as well, for the future tomorrow and for all the others. We have to perform and we have to fight and we have to do the right things in the right moment. It's not about showing that we can do things similar than we did it in the last last year when you didn't know before the game that it will happen today like this. It's about feeling right, feeling confident. It's about game development. It's about a good start, like you score early and then you can use some, some different space, stuff like that. So far we had, I think, to fight in each game until the last minute. Right, so that's not a, not, not a problem. Um, so yes, we can we can do, um, of course, how all teams in the Premier League probably we can do uh, a lot of things better than we did so far. But I said a few times as well, the basis we we had we created is is a really good one, football-wise and point-wise. And now we have to build on that all the, every day, uh, week in week out, and um, that's what we try, and um, we will try that tomorrow again. I'm just going to pause one second, Vinny. Whoever's that light is, can we turn that off? It's possibly a uh, flashing light that's affecting the television the pictures. Is there photographers in the room? If not, can we turn it? Can we have to turn that off? It's not. Ah. It's not ours. <laughs> you got it? Throw it off. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. much. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Final question. Final question. <laughs> yeah, how satisfying is it then, that extra solidity that you have this season? That, um, that reliance that you have, that I suppose the confidence that you have now in your side that it can go out and grind out a result when perhaps not hitting peak. No, that's good. That's the basis for all for all successful football teams. That's how it is. It should not be easy to, to score against us. It was never. Even when we conceded more, we had, we had this discussion last year. It was there was only the percentage of shots on target and in target was was much more negative than it is now. We don't have we don't concede a lot of shots on target. Um, and that's defending, actually. And if the ball goes through, you have a goalkeeper. Then, but what helps, of course, and um, we had these situations as well where we needed Ali, um, really, and uh, that's good. Um, but on the other side, it's never. It's, we, we always. It's like last year. We, I think we spoke a lot about free, fluent football and this. And I never had the feeling it's for granted. So it will happen next day again. So it's exactly the same with our defending, defending um, solidity that we don't think it's. Um, 
It will happen again. It's hard work. You have to we have really to work for it. And what I liked was after the last game, I was not the only one who felt a bit kind of average. <laughs> well, we won the game, it's pretty strange. It was influenced, in my, in my case, extremely by the, the, the three big counter-attacks we had, and we didn't finish off one. So we lost the ball in, in a moment. That's why the game was so hectic. If we finish it, one of them, then it's done. But we didn't do. And, that was, and then they had this half chance. That's why I felt not really good after the game. But for the boys as well, they want to do differently. They want to, to be more in charge in a game like this. That if, if, it's difficult to play against a team like Huddersfield that well organized. And so that will be tomorrow difficult, really difficult. And there's another quality in Huddersfield. Belgrade is, is really is a, is a, is the team of Serbia. So very experienced, good footballing, used to dominant football in, in Serbia and, and made life really complicated for Naples and for PSG, even if the, the result against PSG doesn't sound like that. So, and that's it, that you are really ready for, this, for these problems. And so that they have the ball, defend with whatever you have, we have the ball, attack with whatever we have, and protect for the moment when we lose the ball. So that's, that's, these are the, if you want, the three big jobs to do. And um, so far, so good. Not more. But if it would be easy to get 23 points after nine match days, then a lot more teams are in the Premier League, nearly five teams have a similar situation, four I think, um, where they, they won game after game after game, so that shows the quality of these teams, but um, they all had to fight really hard, so of course yesterday night uh, the game against Leicester, 3-1. The last 20, 30 minutes, Arsenal was completely in charge of that game. But before that, it was an open game. So that's that's how it is. So for us, that means for us, make yourself ready for for all the challenges ahead and um, yeah, face them, sort them, and win the football games. Andy, you've got a great defensive record in the Premier League, Jurgen, but you've conceded 13 in the last eight European games. Is it a concern for you? Really? So I didn't know, so it cannot be a concern. Um, obviously. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, so it was We conceded a lot against United uh, City, a lot against Rome. That's already pretty much. And then and then Naples won, that's it. Before that. As, in this competition, as long as you go through, ah, and in the final we conceded as well goals, ah, that's it. Um, yeah, as long as you go through, that's okay. But it's not about. It's not the, the difference is not in the. These games were really special. Eh? The Rome game was special. The, the Man City game was special, and we don't have to talk about the final. Um, if the if the opponents score goals like they did in the final with the bicycle kick and stuff like, then it's quite difficult. Um, but um, no, we can work on that. How we worked on all of that, but not especially for the for the Champions League. For that competition, it's not about the competition. That was about the, the specific character of these games. And um, actually, apart from the goals in the final, I would not, I want, don't want to miss one of these goals we scored or conceded because it, 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 it made the, these these at least four games pretty pretty spectacular. And um, yeah, that's part of the game as well, so um, that's all okay. But of course, we don't want to concede goals, how you can imagine. And uh, against being completely having or keeping a clean sheet against PSG would be uh, a proper challenge for all football teams in the world. So um, I don't care about these two goals. That's it. No, um, it's only a, it's a general thing, not a Champions League thing. Do you feel that you can go, you clearly feel that you can go on to another level and the fans really enjoy seeing that free-flowing football that you saw last season. Is it pleasing when you do feel you can go to another level and it's only October? First of all, we have to prove that. We know it, we feel it, probably everybody knows it, but then we have to show it that that's how it is. I cannot sit here and say like this and it will, it will um, click. So, um, yes. It's no, it's not. I don't have the feeling of being pleased or whatever. It's um, it's really that I think so far so good, nothing else. So imagine we had a normal start in the season, with 18 points, then you are already five behind, and it's still a good. It would be still a good start. But so you are now, you have now 23 points, and you're only two ahead and level with another team and stuff like that. So it's just difficult. So we don't have to look on the table, we don't have to look at anything, we have to look on the next opponent. And the next opponent in this case now is Belgrade. That's why we only actually should talk about them. 
and not about the Premier League. And then after that, we can talk about the Premier League again. But that's um, um, just a... Yeah, it looks like it will be a very interesting season. And um, that's good news, I would say, for all the supporters. Um, and um, so let's see and uh, that we can um, stay in that race. And um, that would be really cool. And then we'll see what happens. Can we go around the room for a couple of minutes? We've got questions for us. We'll go to the field. We'll go to the association. Do you have anything there? I'll tell you. 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 Sorry. You said that the rest are complicated life for Napoli and PSG. How to PSG they take six goals. Uh, what, yeah. what is the way the threats are complicated the life of the rivals? Oh. It's not too difficult. As in football possible, everybody knows it, that it's um, to, to, to defend compact helps a lot. As for, for Belgrade, for sure, the, the challenge is a little bit that they are that dominating side in Serbia. So um, winning 80-90% of their games pretty much. Um, and Champions League is then different because they play against other top teams in Europe, and that makes uh, makes it different. But they, I really think they did well. They did well against Napoli. They had to defend. Yes, Napoli had more more shots on target, everything more, but um, they did well. And um, against Paris, if they open the box of Pandora, then it's open. So then it's if, if Neymar starts scoring from I don't know 35 yards free kicks and stuff like that, then it's then it's nobody can defend that. So it's um, all about. I know that they are able to to defend and that they are able to to create um, as well. Um, the strengths have different possibilities to line up, different strikers to line up, tall, quick, good footballers, good headers. Fullbacks are um, really laggy, they're really on their bikes, um, quick, very offensive orientated, so clear structure and all that stuff. So that's what they can do offensively and defensively. Um, Serbian teams are always good organized. So they're always like this. They are no to defend. They, they are not bothered to, 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 to be a bit more aggressive and stuff like that. That's, that's how it is. And um, so we need to be ready for a really hard fight. We need to fight for each little square meter of space or whatever uh, with all we have and for that we need our crowd so that need, that's very very important we, we learned last year not only but we learned last year especially that um, atmosphere can make the difference and that's what we have to make sure again and um, so it's a hard group really hard group for all for all teams and um, we have to make sure that we make the next step against really a good side a really good side, and I saw the game against Salzburg when they qualified, and I saw how they celebrated that. Yes, it was maybe after the, the score line of two 0 it was a bit of a surprise, but um, it looked like Salzburg were through, and then they fought back and they used their chances immediately. Had five, ten um, fantastic minutes and changed the whole game. And when you saw them celebrating, then you know they will fight with all they have for. Um, Getting points or winning, even winning at Anfield. Yeah, that's it. One more, one more. Do you remember the last generation of Red Star players in the Champions Cup? It was against Bayern 91. Pan, de, oh, I know a few. Um, Prozinecki? Prozinecki was in that team. Do you remember that team when they were in it? When was it? 90? 91. So I was then 23, and it's obviously something better to do than watching a Champions League. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I saw it 100 percent, but I saw it since then a few games. But it was a it was an outstanding team, yeah, and uh, yeah, it was a good team. Last two questions, uh, David. I'll come to you last, gentlemen. There in the. Hello, uh, first of all, regards from the Serbian press that arrived a bit earlier. Uh, <clears throat> how much do you know from, about the Red Star team? And you know that Marco Marin, one of the most experienced players of Red Star, didn't travel, he won't be in the plane. So how, how does that reflect now maybe on your tactic or something that you were preparing? The Marco is not I know Marco. He, I, he Marco, won't be playing. I know, won't I know, I know. I heard about it. I, but I know him since he was at Frankfurt. I, I lived in Frankfurt when Marco came through the academy of Eintracht Frankfurt. So he was an outstanding player. So I follow his career since then. Um, yes. Is he injured or why is he not on the plane? He's injured. He missed the last two games in the cup in the league, so he got some injury. Yeah. 
yes. <laughs> no, no. That's a tactic. <laughs> Leaving Marco Marino, that's an interesting tactic. Um, so what do I know? So it's like um, we saw three games. We had the uh, focus was mainly on the on the two Champions League games because um, that's and the Partizan game to be honest again in 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 Belgrade. So and I know that I have no clue which lineup they will choose because I have the opportunity to change the the, the 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 last four as often as possible stay the same. I would say goalie, three midfield, and then up front they have opportunities obviously and and, and use them. So whatever they want to do. Um, I don't know in the moment. How could I know? So, um, and that uh, makes it always interesting, of course. But for my, whatever they, whoever they line up, they are a top team in Serbia, and that makes that always that brings them in with confidence. So that's how it is. They are used to to win football games. That's how it is. And we have to make sure that they cannot come in that mood. So that's it. And, but on the other hand side, and that's why I say it was quite impressive against um, Paris and, and, and Napoli. Um, how they defended them, because that's pretty rare for a for a um, usually very dominating team that you can then switch like this and and defend like that. And they did it. They did it. And then it's a bit more about counter attacks and stuff like that. But they were ready for that. You can see that they lived their their big dream that they really wanted to. Do. I don't know when was the last time that that Belgrade was in the Champions League. It's a f- I think the last one was in ninety first actually. Really? So that's long. And it's long. So and then now, now this generation came through and um, in, a, in a very exciting game from actually a situation two 0 down at Salzburg. They they played really well that day Salzburg. Eh? So it was um, and then they they came through and that's this kind of miracle and now they want to extend it. That's how I would um, <laughs> try to motivate my boys if it's about that. So and I'm pretty sure. Um, they will do it the same way, and that's, um, that makes it dangerous. But on the other hand side, whoever would come tomorrow night, it's, it's a home game at Anfield, and we want to win it. We, we are not sure if we can, but we will try everything what we're doing. It's not the nicest thing to do to play against us, to be honest. It's not that you, it's, it feels like holiday. It's exactly what we have to make sure again, and uh, make a proper fight of it, because Belgrade will fight 100%. And um, yeah, we have round about... 30 hours time um, to prepare that, and that's what we will do. Final question, David. Yeah, a bit of an unusual situation with no one travelling, fans being allowed into the stadium tomorrow. Have you experienced anything like that? How do you think it might affect things having even more Liverpool fans there? No, when I was a player, I played in empty stadiums, and there were no, they were not banned. They only were not interested in the football we played. <laughs> yeah. So, no, a stadium full of um, only one crowd, I never. I never experienced, but I, I, I would, I would say because our, the support here is, is in, in England is different, especially in Anfield is different. We don't, we don't sing against another crowd. It's not they say that and we say that. It's a little bit like that, but it's more. You follow the game and you support your team, and if you have a bigger number, and cool. And um, that's, uh, I, I, that's of course not nice for the for the people from Belgrade, but um, we have no influence on that. So we, have, we would have had no problem. If Belgrade fans would have been here, we still can have would have had a fantastic atmosphere. But that's all about that we are really tomorrow, really together. It would be because we have the same. It's not that we are now the most experienced team in Champions League only because we came last year to the final. We are still <coughs> pretty fresh in comparison to a lot of other other teams in in that competition. And we have to make sure that this one advantage what we can have in our home games, our crowd is there 100 percent. That's it, and that's what we should make sure. Um, I'm pretty sure we are ready, but I only, only a little reminder for all of you uh, on your toes. Um, and then um, it will be difficult for, for, for Belgrade, and um, that's the first job to do, to make it difficult and uncomfortable for the opponent. Okay, guys, try- Places, um, so I think it's it's wrong if you think you're going into a game and, and starting week in week out. So I think um, yeah, it's only right that there's there's rotations and to keep um, everyone on the toes is is the best way to get 
get the best out of people. You've heard as well though of your ambition to become a Liverpool captain, so how does that kind of drive you on day to day with everything that goes along with this club and what it means to you this place as well? Yeah, obviously it's something I've always dreamed of and um, a, a, an aim and a, and a goal of mine is to, is to obviously become it. So um, I think there's still obviously a lot of hard work to go, to go into it and, and everything. So um, just about being patient and, and keep working hard and hopefully one day that, that, that opportunity might come. For the squad as a whole, what has greater significance this season? Is it Champions League or a run at the title? Um, I'd say that there isn't a, a standout one. I'd say both of them. I think we're a good enough squad to be to be challenging for both, and it's something that you're not just going to rule one out and and put one to the side because they're both as important as each other. And something that we we aim towards is both of them. So um, I, I'd say that it's hard to pick one. So I'd say both. Okay. You've got a great defensive record in the Premier League, but things haven't quite been the same in the Champions League. I pointed out to. Your manager of 13 in the last eight European games. Is that a concern? Um, no, for us, obviously, we, we want to concede as, as little as, as possible, so um, conceding 13 and 8 is, is not the best, but I think from that, we've we've still got to a Champions League final, and um, I think um, we've still got, got three points this campaign, so we're not in the worst positions possible, um, and we're still getting wins, so. I think um, something that we can focus on is definitely conceding less goals, but I think that the three points is the most important thing for us. Some of the players have admitted that Liverpool can improve still, even though you've done well at the start of the season. Do you agree? Do you feel there's another level that you can all get up to? And is that teasing, given it's only October? Yeah, definitely. I think um, we, we know there's still a lot to give and that we can still get better at a lot of things and there's always room for improvement. So. It's something that we're all excited about and something that we know that we we need to, to strive towards is, is, is getting better and putting in better performances and, and reaching our full potential as a team. Okay, Sam? Trent, does the result in Napoli make tomorrow night even more important? Um, potentially, yeah, but that's something that we're not focused on. We're, we're focused on ourselves and I think every game we want to go in and get the three points, so it doesn't really matter what situation we're in. The, the objective is always going to be getting the three points, and I think that 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 will that will be the, the same tomorrow. And the fact the Red Star drew with Napoli in their first game proves that tomorrow could be a tricky test. Yeah, definitely. I think all teams in this competition are are, are not just taking part. That the here and Red Star have showed that they're not scared of of um, potentially bigger teams, and we know that they'll they'll come here and be looking to take points off us and. That's something that we'll be preparing for. Okay. Any other questions for Trent? Yes, that's me. Can you talk about the Red Star team and quickly be playing against Angle who can will be attacking you tomorrow if you get to be in the starting line today? Well, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that one. How much do you know about the Red Star team and about the players that you're know, facing against tomorrow that could be on your side that you can be guarding? Um, obviously, it's, um, um, we haven't done the analysis on it yet. We'll probably do that later on. So. Um, I'm not too familiar, but no matter who it is, we we got to prepare the same way, and uh, we know it's going to be a tough test, and we know that, um, that whoever it is is going to be difficult. So we'll we'll be preparing for it, and and hopefully we'll we'll be looking to get the better of, of the team. Ben, obviously going into these games last year was a, a new experience for you. How, given that experience you got last year, does it feel a lot more comfortable and a lot more sort of you know what to expect a little bit more? Um, yeah, obviously, um, at first you're nervous and, and um, new to, to the situation as, as with anyone, so it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. And I think now I've, I've probably got a little bit more used to it, but still it's it's probably one of the, the biggest occasions, the Champions League, and um, no matter who the opponent is, it's it's still um, still going to be a difficult test and it's um, something that, that we're, we're looking to go really far in.